They took me in and they call me a success story. I call it living my life. I have very few memories. I'm told and I've been diagnosed with PTSD because of my past and my memories that I do have are fleeting. I ended up at the ranch approximately 1986 after I had been removed from my home because it was an unsafe environment. My father was quite an abusive character. He liked to, to drink and dabble in drugs. One day he decided to make it sexual. Once he threatened to do that a second time, I decided to leave, so I ran. I was in a 30-day emergency shelter in Houston for 90 days until they eventually found placement for me at the youth ranch in Ingram. My best memory was the day I arrived at the ranch. I had no idea why I was there specifically other than I needed a place to live. I was met by the house parent, taken to a cabin, and in walks this little, short, spunky, 15-ish year old girl that says, oh my God, I'm so excited you're here. Never heard of her before, never laid eyes on her before, but she made me feel loved in that moment for just being alive. That's her. Well, and I didn't say it to make you cry, but if I had to think of something, that's the first thing that came to my mind. The absolute first thing. I was so happy you were there. You and I were the same. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Been this way on many occasions. Oh my God. Catherine has stuck with me through leaving the ranch and started my family. Catherine came and, and saw my firstborn. Yes, I was a part of her family. She was a part of the family yep. when my first husband died. Yep. She was there. I was there. Yeah, I remember that. It was yep. awful. Whenever I would travel through Houston, I'd call her up and be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just kind of stuck together. Well, Jennifer is my sister. And she was my roommate. She was my sister. We, had, we shared the same room. Jennifer's story... Um, Jennifer's story touched your heart, didn't it, dear? <laughs> it did. It I did. touched your heart. Oh my God. Um, holy cow, how old are we? We're like 49. I just turned 50. No, ma'am. Oh my gosh. You can erase that. Yeah. <laughs> I, delete, delete. <laughs> she doesn't look her age. But, anyways, I love her and I'm so proud of her. <laughs> She's grown up to be a remarkable woman and um so everybody says that and all I did was take what I was given <laughs> exactly right I take what I was taught at the ranch and and I applied it yeah and um, it doesn't matter I haven't seen I haven't seen Catherine in a year and before that it had probably been it had been a number of years it had been a number of years but we connect through Facebook mm -hmm. every once in a while you know, we keep up, make yep. sure everybody's breathing. And we connect out here. And we connect family. out here. This is our family, mm -hmm. and here we are. <laughs> yeah.